What's up, everybody? I'm Albie13. Okay. Um, so I wanted to make a video here. Let's turn this a little bit. Uh, I was playing the demo, and I was really into it. I want to put this up, and I'm watching the demo's gameplay. So I let's just touch on it while it goes, um, as it goes. Okay, so like the intro, I was impressed. I thought it was anime, but interesting, a little bit cinematic, movie-like, and interesting. So it was like the right uh, amount of intro to get me started. And then you like obviously flow into the game, and you start playing, and it still seems cinematic. Uh, there was a little bit of the stakes. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's it's pretty emotional tugs at you because like you're losing your squad mates, you get a sense that they're important. So like I don't know, man. It's 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 sad, you know. It's like a lot of loss of life. So and you just so what is it doing well? Like you see the emotion on the characters, you're feeling that uh, they're like they care about it, and then like the you want to learn about the characters and the only thing is that you don't get a lot of backstory through this so i probably would have wanted to see more backstory but of course every time you do that you slow down the action and you slow down them getting into what's going on so the creatures are wild really good design something really interesting um this doesn't feel like a tutorial because it lets you do whatever you want but it does make you do a few things and the thing i will immediately say i didn't like is that it made you kind of get the skills and you couldn't really just freeform do whichever kind of build you want you just had to do like all the basic stuff even though maybe you could play outplay the situation but um you quickly learn that the enemies are um they're specialized like a shield enemy is really shield and the flying enemy can really fly well so it makes it hard for you to fight them and they have all these skills there's like three skill trees which are they seem to be like uh, they do make a big difference at what you can do but also i get the feeling it's mega hard at first when you don't have all your skills and stuff um it's souls like because you get um like three uh health potions and i see that you can like buy i don't know bigger ones or more or something but like you're trying to survive on the health potions and it's, it feels like you it's difficult checkpoints are pretty far and you gotta really perform i'm playing it on normal difficulty so um maybe it's a little too hard for the average person um it's a little too hard for me so i could see how it'd just be too hard i have no experience with the easy mode um i uh I think that the you can block, which it's it's a great system, and you can parry. Parry is tough, but they have skills to make it easier. But you know, you you got to pick what you can get. But um, I can't say I really loved the blocking system. I couldn't block like when I wanted to block. Um, the best thing that I figured out it was the perfect dodge i could dodge and i could perfect dodge and i was able to do that a lot of times um but it wasn't enough because once you dodge you don't gain extra mobility or anything or and the bosses were pretty ridiculous because they would they would attack and attack and attack and um they didn't really have a lot any like periods where they were tired or downtime so um I'm not sure, except to say that game is tough. It looks beautiful. It plays good, good mechanics, really nice characters. Um, checking out my time here. Yeah. So, all right. So that that all that being said, that's a lot going on there. Um, the world is interesting. You're learning about it. Like for example, you go somewhere and you talk about the camps and you set up these camps. It's a good system, but it feels like Souls like again. You have to reach the camps in order to get a checkpoint. You can save the game, buy stuff, upgrade, and it replenishes your health pots. But the down thing I'm seeing is what I don't like is you don't have healing items that you can kind of get. 
you don't have any systems to allow you to heal if you play in clever ways or somehow farm some additional health. So it's a rough start. I don't know if that speaks for the whole game, but um, I thought the characters were interesting and the world is interesting because it's uh, like dystopian, futuristic, but also seems like you're in an old world, like an old city. So it's really, really cool. And the puzzles are, are great because it wasn't like, you know, push one, two, three, four, you know, do a four pin password or whatever. You know, it's just a couple of passwords. You just get the idea that, you know, it's like you might have to do a little more than just the usual, which is like, a you know, too easy. It's like for children. So this feels more mature in that sense. You have a scanning ability. It's cool. What else can I say? Um, I guess it's just great for this type of game. Um, I'm not sure if it's a kind of a, a type of game that I want to play right now. Um, these games do are kind of a bit of a marathon, but uh, I think it's I don't know what do you want to say worth the money worth buying. Um, So yeah, so that's uh, Stellar Blade. Um, I guess I could play this again through, uh, at least just to see how it is on easy. But the, tr the, 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 t the part that I got that I lost was the boss. And everything else was doable, even though I think I died once. So I'm okay with that. And that seems fine, even though it's like a little hard or a little too hard. But yeah, so that's Stellar Blade. Um, it's a cool game on the um, Horizon or whatever. It's coming out, I think, on the 26th of this month. So yeah. Uh, I don't know. Just you know what? This is what I would say. My final thoughts on. So you're fighting the boss, and it's got all these abilities and everything, and you, I tried to use the barrels against it, got that, hit the barrels, it got damaged and stunned, and that was about it. So there wasn't any more environmental tricks to work on the boss. I didn't seem to have any way of gaining advantage, nor did I see any way of hunk, uh, using things as cover or uh, to, to help help the boss keep distance and try to work it at some pace, find openings. Um, they kind of expect you to have a really uh, straightforward, like, block, attack, 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 and then, like, try to not get hit so much. And it's tough, man. I mean, maybe I was fighting too methodical. I probably would switch up and just fight uh, um, attacking it more often. But, uh, and then, yeah, just... I don't know. I don't know what to think about it because I got in an unwinnable situation because I ran out of health. I used all my potions, my healing, and then uh, I was just in an unwinnable situation. And that's not fun. So uh, I don't know. Um, I I guess. <laughs> all right. See ya.